Crafting a Steam artwork is simple. No Photoshop, no paid apps, just your browser. Hi guys, my name is Racha and I've made three videos about making your very own Steam artwork. But like I said, the only tool you need is your browser. It's so easy, I'll even show you one secret trick that nobody else is talking about. But before that, if you're interested in custom artworks like mine, steamartwork.com rated with over 4.9 stars is one of my go-to spots for plug and play. From Darth Vader to Sasuke and even Ghostface, there are dozens of artworks added each week. You can even add your own name and it will be delivered within 48 hours. And if ever, you can always reach out to them in the contact page. So be sure to check out the link in the description and the pinned comment down below. Okay, so we'll be doing this, but a little easier. So go ahead and purchase featured artwork in the Steam Point Shop. Afterwards, the model comes next, and places like DeviantArt or Pinterest are good places to look. I personally found this model of Triss by Leo Arty. So let's go ahead and save that to a folder to keep things organized. And while we're at it, head on to adobe.com, linked in the description. We need to remove its background, so just simply drag this in there and let it do its magic. And then just save it. I'm gonna name it um, Triss no BG. We can now go ahead and delete the first one. Also, if you're interested, I have this folder linked down below because then background comes next we need a background to crop for our models backdrop and I know I said backgrounds that gallery is a good place to look but I was wrong you see although it's an ocean to choose from you still have to worry about one thing because imagine finding one you like and end up seeing that you have to own the game no worries I'll just buy it with cash yeah it's not worth it. So here's the secret tip that a lot of people gatekeep. And trust me, this will save you a lot of time. So instead of doing all that, scrap it. Just stay in the Steam Point Shop. Browse for a static or animated background of your choice and buy it, then equip it. Afterwards, we just need to crop it. So copy your URL, paste it in Google, right click, inspect, look for this background image URL, copy this URL, and paste it in steam.design. Okay, just click download zip and just wait for it. And after that, extract it. And all we need is this. The rest, trash. Because we need to convert this as a GIF. So head on to easygif.com. Click video to GIF and drag it in here. It'll take some time. If not, click convert to GIF and click save to the right. I'm gonna name this as art GIF. By the way, congratulations to Fat Guy 6968 for winning Black Myth Wukong. If this video makes 10,000 likes, I'll give away a game you comment down below. So be sure to like and subscribe because I'll be posting the winner in the discussion tab. Anyway, so let's now combine the two together. We'll be using a Photoshop alternative called Photopia. Look up photopia.com, start using Photopia then drag in art gif now it kind of looks intimidating with all the layers to the right but don't worry just drag in Triss no bg and then drag her to the very top make sure she's on the very she's the face she's the face of these layers and not to make it look weird scale her up using these transform controls and you can also add some spice with this cookie icon just click and add brightness and you can adjust it as much as you want but also make sure to right click the effect to make it a clipping mask so it only applies to the model and not the background now once you're all said and done just export it as a gif perfect now wait from all the tickets i've gotten i have a border it's not flush can somebody help me when it comes to uploading your artwork to avoid this hideous mess don't forget this code it's down below the like button so in the browser version of steam go ahead the artwork tab upload not game specific and add your title browse for the artwork we just made add a description then right click it just on this empty space click inspect then just paste in the code in the console tab. Close this and press save and continue. Then head back to your profile, edit profile, featured showcase, click the pencil icon and press this line thingy. Perfect. Just head back to your profile and see that you're all set. Just like this, this, and this. Except these are regular artworks, not featured ones. I actually made one myself, so let me know if you want the file in the comments. And as always, a like would be great. Your comments are welcome. Don't hesitate. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.